Hey guys, so uh, I want to do a quick little benchmark speed test here between the Galaxy J5 and some of its uh, alternative handsets in the 5 inch category from Samsung. Uh, obviously we do have here the Galaxy Grand Prime on the left. We seem to have a screen issue here. Uh, I've not done anything to it. It just seems to have formed by itself. I don't think it's got the best display uh, on this handset. Uh, also, uh, we do have the A5, very nice premium handset here, uh, very similar actually to the J5 in pretty much every aspect except for it's built uh, very premium obviously. And uh, also we do have the S6 Edge here, just to provide perspective really, uh, the Edge is obviously going to be ahead when it comes to the power, but uh, interesting to see if these others can keep up when it comes to some of the other benchmarks that we're going to run so uh, we can just start off here booting them all up at the same time so we can get a good test going three two one let's go <laughs> My money is on the edge, of course. And I wasn't mistaken. Wow, the J5 came up second there, which isn't too bad. So the J5, as you can see, very nice uh, boot up here. It beats the Grand Prime uh, and the uh, the A5 as well. Uh, these three all have the same specs as well, I think, uh, except for the RAM. Uh, I think this has one gig of RAM, 1.5 gigs, and two gigs uh, versus the three gigs of RAM over on the right. So we can just run some benchmarks here and see what uh, they perform like so we do have Antutu on all of them so we're going to run through this quite quick so to not make the video go on for too long and we can just start them off here 3, 2, 1, let's go So uh, as I said, I'm just going to fast forward the video a little bit here till we get to the midway point. So uh, we are coming to the midway point here and it looks like the S6 is being really lazy here uh, but I think it's because it's doing like the 64 bit version of it and uh, these ones obviously doing the 32 bit versions and you can see uh, that basically the A5 and the J5 seem to be neck and neck here, uh, which is quite nice. The uh, Grand Prime has fallen behind a little bit compared to the other two. Grand Prime obviously is on KitKat, do bear that in mind. Don't know when Samsung's updating the device, it should be, you know, at least updated to Lollipop at the end of the day. And uh, so it looks like the J5 and the A5 are really going for it here. They're at each other's throats. And very laggy when it comes to the graphics, as to be expected. And on the screen it's saying about 5 frames per second. So if you're looking for gaming, then probably you better look towards the Zen phone or something like that. Uh, or a Malai uh, phone and I think the uh, S6 Edge is catching up here just look how beautiful it is in terms of the the frame rate no nonsense there Grand Prime you know it's limping behind the finish line here definitely think it could do with a dose of lollipop the specs are very similar uh, and we do have a result here. We do have, whoa, the Grand Prime's giving up the goose here. So I didn't even get to finish on the Grand Prime, but on the J5, 
we're getting 21,469, uh, which is just below the A5 of 22,281. <coughs> so, not the highest scores there, but, uh, you know, very serviceable, nevertheless. 65,000 here on the edge, uh, which completely blows everything else away. And not sure what happened with the Grand Prime. You know, the Grand Prime, Grand Prime uh, just kind of fell over at the end there. Uh, maybe it needs some TLC or something. The screen falling apart and it can't even do Antutu. Who knows? Uh, but basically, uh, we can try a different benchmark now. <coughs> And uh, we can try, uh, what else do we have? The uh, speed test. A lot of people obviously interested to see how the speed is on the uh, Wi-Fi. And does it support 5G? can't remember. No, so it's uh, only on 2G, which is a bit of a shame. I think the A5 does. So you get 5G there and the gram prime so 2G on that and I know that the S6 Edge will support 5G uh, so we're, we can just start off here with the gram prime and I think it's actually on the right one, yes it is So quite a boring score there with the Grand Prime, nothing special really, even for 2G I would expect about 70 to 80. And the A5. Wow, that's a lot better. So you got your 5G speed there, very nice and the upload even that's a little bit faster you can see up to 14 and we do have the edge you should win here whoa no messing around <laughs> so yes you can see there uh, but is it worth like triple the price of the J5 we'll see what can the J5 pull out of its hat hopefully the J5 can uh, do quite well here ooh J5 come on you got to beat the prime no you see here I was singing its praises and it can't beat the prime it's still an awesome phone though you know at the end of the day Wi-Fi speed of 50 is enough for most people uh, so you know I'm not a huge uh, not going to hugely criticize it there but quite interesting results nevertheless and finally we can just do a quick little GPS on all of them so one, two, three, four, and I think the uh, the GPS is on on all of them. And uh, lots of life here from the J5 and the Grand Prime, which is nice. Uh, accuracy is a bit off on the S6, and the A5 is really struggling here double check this so you can see it's on high accuracy but it's good that you're getting a fix here with the J5 very nice and quick uh, and the the S6 is still very inaccurate up to 79 there not very good at all here so I think the Prime and the J5 actually beat the S6 here which is uh, very interesting uh, more in use as well, more in view. A5 can't be bothered and uh, has probably called it for the night. 
so uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to leave it there then. Quite interesting uh, results you can see from the Antutu. Uh, the J5 comes just beh behind the A5. Uh, the Grand Pine couldn't be bothered. The S6 Edge, you know, just did it with style really. Uh, for the Wi-Fi, the uh, J5, not very good there to be honest, a bit of a shame really, couldn't pass the Grand Prime. Uh, and for the GPS though, things did look up, you could see very quick lock there, even better than the S6 uh, Edge, which is good. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.